Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm painting, so I figured I would share. I am creating a wood burning, I'm painting a wood burning that I did, a box, and I'm using some burnt umber to kind of give the impression that I shaded everything, because I don't know how to shade when I wood burn, but I do know how to paint. So I take the paint, and I side load it on my brush and I float it in the places where I would want, to sh want there to be shadow and I really really love the effect um, it's I kind of like it so much that I'm not really interested in learning how to <laughs> shade with the burner so I just figured I'd turn on the camera because I love seeing the piece come together. I'm also going to use blue on this too. My bedroom accent colors are like soft blue, like I have blue curtains. I already did the sides, so I'm going to go back down um, like we have blue carpet and I have a very bright colored comforter. Well, it's like a boho striped, lots of colors. So. But I'm just going to use blue on the flowers. Very light, like turquoisey colors. So I'm going to show you. I'll just do the top of this box. Now, that being said, I'm noticing there's leaves on here. And I could do them like a really kind of like a not a bright pop in green you know the I am such a bright color person but I think what I want to do I don't think the green would hurt it but I still I already did gold so if you look at it you can see some gold in the centers of these flowers because normally like I just did this little box and I'm gonna um, I'm going to seal it in a minute. I just wanted to give everything a chance to dry. But I just used burnt umber. And I did use a little soft black on this one. Um, gold and white. And that's been my go-to. But I do want to add a little color. But I'm going to continue to use the gold and the white. So see, there's little leaves here. But what if I do them like a green that's kind of brownish green? I think that could be good. So I'm just going to continue with the burnt umber for a minute and just kind of hit it to set everything kind of in the foreground to push it forward. I shade behind it. So in these little areas where the, it would be the darkest because um, that's the idea. It's going to push the actual design into the foreground. So this is a design that I got online. It's a coloring book page that I printed out and they're free. Um, and I just traced it on this top of the box and I wrote the word peace because it felt a little naked in that area. Um, I wrote it out on a piece of um, graph paper like you know so that my letters would all be the same size and just kind of eyeballed it into the space where I thought it fit the best. And then I took some of the flowers from this piece and put them on the sides of the box as well. So um, try to keep it simple and uh, not get, because I, I had these boxes and the boxes that I'm using in my bedroom right now are ones that I burned as well, but they were a lot more intricate like this. My dragonfly box had a lot more going on. It took a lot longer to do. So I really just tried to keep this to the, to the minimum of lines. I mean, it's a little bit fancy, but not as fancy as I could have made it. Um, kind of like the idea of this being a little brighter there. So maybe I'll just do here.
and I, I'm a fast painter, you guys. I, I don't think this is much of a tutorial, per se, because I've got lots of those on my channel. Um, this is considered decorative painting. I've been doing this for a long time, and um, this specific technique, it's just called floating, and, it, and it's a way that I can get, like I said, to get the wood burning to look like I actually shaded and highlighted it without burning it. And... So I like that. Now I probably should put some in here. Just those four little spots, I think. And then I think I'm going to start adding some color. And I just wanted to share. So in other words, I don't want it to be colored in, you know. Whoops. <laughs> um and lose all that wood grain and good stuff there. So I'm just really trying to keep it light. That looks good. Okay. So now I've gone around everything and I can really darken it up with the soft black if I want to by just hitting it in the really darkest areas really in close. So I'll probably do that. Um, but let's try some blue. I'm just excited to add color. And I really don't know what color I'm going to do, the peace sign itself. But for right now, I have these three blues. These are, one's turquoise, uh, whispering turquoise, and then this is just called soft blue. So there are three different variations. I don't have a lot of this uh, turquoise blue, so I'm hoping I you know, can get away with it. But I really use so little. So I have a little bit out there, and I'm really going to, I'll go down in size to my, let's see, what size, um, where's my other one? I had another brush. Uh, oh well, this is called, this is a half inch, this one, I want to use this, a three eighths inch. It's a little smaller, and that way I'll keep... I won't be able to put as much color because I won't have enough space. So I corner load the brush. I just corner load it, a little bit of paint, and then I blend it. I work it into the bristles using the water that's on the brush. Kiwi hears me, my bird. And I'm going to start with the biggest flowers and go around the like where it would be connected to the center. See, that is so bright. This is what I'm thinking will be the brightest blue that I use right here. This very step that I'm sorry about that. My uh, when I was burning, I had unplugged the camera plug, so I ran out of battery. Um, so I've just been painting, continue to paint the blue. So now I've done the darkest blue on the big flowers. I did the medium flowers, the medium blue. Um, which I think it's called Whispering Turquoise, and I'm just going to do it a little bit darker. And then the last blue for the smallest flowers, it's going to look really almost white, I think. But that's okay, I kind of am liking this a lot. I wasn't sure about the brightest blue at first, but now ooh, it's all coming together. So this is called Soft Blue. And, I mean, in the bottle, it's a very, very tiny bit of difference, but let's just go for it. It's almost like a gray-blue, which I like as well. I really like the gray-blues or a green-blue. So, again, I'm just corner-loading and working that paint across the bristles so that I get the darkest on this end, and then it gets to water. And I'm just going to stick it, like... I'm going to go behind where this flower is behind this flower. That's where it would be shaded. It would be the darkest in there. And then up against where it comes out of the center. So see, it's pretty close actually to the middle flower. I'm going to stick with it. I mean, I can see the difference I don't know if the camera's picking it up, so for this one, I'm just going to do right up against the center. And I just kind of tickle it up in a way. I've been doing this a long time, you guys. So like I said, 
it's not quite a tutorial but I do have those on my channel if you're curious about this style of painting called decorative painting and um, I ooh, geez I have a little butt wiper here ooh, and I got paint on my shirt too I'm just a mess today anywho, anywho um, I move very fast as well I'm a very fast painter but this literally this whole piece is pretty much done with this technique technique floating which is a I would consider it a decorative painting technique um, and that's the thing people don't think that they can paint but oh, I gotta do this medium I can no I consider that a small um, they don't think they can paint but painting is really techniques and it's learning how it's learning brush control strokes all that stuff that that's that's teachable stuff um, you know when it comes to maybe um, oil painting and stuff when you have to really just keep playing with it that's why I do acrylics I just I'm like a one and done kind of person I'm not very patient acrylics dry they're water based oils never dry well I, don't, I think I think they never dry but I mean maybe they dry after a certain amount of time um, okay that is three colors of blue and I can kind of see it um, not as much as I'd hoped but I'm gonna go back in with that medium blue for a sec and just walk it out a little bit on this petal here so in other words I pulled the I tried to pull the color up the petal a little bit like here I'm darkening and then just walking it up um that's kind of what this is about I'm just gonna keep going back and forth tweaking it here and there I want this to be completely colored in because it's up against the peace sign and that's what I'm gonna be doing so I just wanted to share that but man um, I'm gonna I think I want to do white for the centers but I think I'll do gold and white so I'll probably highlight and then I can dip dot some things I'm gonna try and find a maybe I should stick with I can't I'm, I'm debating with myself right now if I should oh I have a little fettle there if I should pick a green and you know what something's really telling me to pick it because that's the only other color that I need to do so it would just be blue and green and I can find like a bluish green you know so it's not gonna be too different like I'm not gonna pick the most bright green I can find I'm gonna pick a really blue green maybe and that's it I don't have any other little ones I'm probably gonna highlight the outside edge of those with white I think I'm gonna do the big man I could do all of them with white all right I'm gonna find green and I'll be right back all right since we're staying in the teal family did I was the, no this is turquoise mm. I don't know I think this is gonna be way too dark too I like it though antique teal I can always uh, I'm gonna see if I have a flower, a leaf here, and you know what? Look, I didn't burn lines in that, and I already sealed it, but it's on the side. So let me just see what this looks like. It's very dark, actually, but I would put it. I, th I think I like it. I'm going to go with it. Ah, oh, so temp. Because I could go so much lighter. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. It's all right. I'm going to just keep it. I'm not going to use as much paint. That's the idea. So I just stick it in the darkest areas up against the bottom. And just let the water pull it out you know and there aren't that many leaves so it's not that big a deal I'm probably gonna go down the centers too 
but for right now I want it to be maybe I'll find a, a lighter version to do the highlighting with but I'm just keeping it right up against the petals and just letting it bleed out up into the top part so in other words if the leaf isn't touching anything I'm leaving it kinda leaving the the wood color to show through but I think it matches pretty good I, I think I think it's a good choice I think it's a good choice I think it's good um so what am I gonna do I guess brown or gold I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do some soft black so you can see what that looks like because I have decided that I want to darken up some of the real nooks and cranny parts of it so the real um, here you know the real inside section so I'm just again really little bit of paint I love soft black it's so good okay and like I said, so let's see, there's a little spot right here that I didn't do before. I just wanted to darken that up. Um, let's go in here and leave it. Like I'm not trying to go too far. Just stick it there. And leave it in there. My brush is all kinds of splitting. Um, if it's splitting, it just means I'm running out of water. So I just dunked it again and dried it. Okay, so right here, oh, look at this. It's very not shaded yet. Get carried away and put it everywhere it's just nice to have it as a little deeper shaded look so I, I definitely get carried away and I love it and all right just let me put it right here and I know I'm not zoomed, but right here. Come a little bit. And then I am using just a little bit of paint on my brush. Like I I can't even show you how little it is, but it's so tiny. And then I'm just sticking it right in the darkest places. Alright, I think I'm back where I started. It's so subtle, but I can see it. And I think I want to do it in the corners. I'm going to go bump up to my bigger brush. And just in the corners. can't put if you you can pick up what you put down so if I if it's still wet I have to be careful that I don't put my hand in it and I don't want to make piece too dark so let's say maybe just I 
And of course, I think I have to go inside my, just in the corners, like just right here. I don't have much water on my brush so that's why it's like I really have to, I start scrubbing okay so right here it's definitely because it's behind and then right here Now I'm losing the little leaves, so let's see. I'm going to do the center's brown. Brown and gold, I think. So back to my brown. And to the left side of all of those, I'm going to do brown. And then I'll do gold on the left on the right side that one will, will be all brown because it's underneath overlapping you know it's coming together but man I really got to figure out what I'm gonna do with the peace sign I don't know. I can just gold it. I think I'm golding it. Oh wow. I think I'm I am. Oh yes. I'm floating gold. The peace sign is going to be gold. So I'm just gonna side load some gold. Just like I would any other color. It's just that metallics are very transparent. So I'm using quite a bit of paint. And I am going to first go around the outside. So, and after I put the gold, I'm going to, I'll shade with brown in like the dark areas. That'll look good. So this will just keep it, it's a very sheer, um, subtle coloring. I didn't want to fill it in. Obviously I did those little swirls, which I'm not sure if I'm thrilled with them, but I put the swirls on there. I don't know why. Um, and if I were to color it in, it would totally lose the feel. This is this is really meant to be like I wood burned it. I mean, I could definitely wood burn it solid. That's the thing, though, too, huh? So I'm just going down the edge, up against the sides, and you can see it when I turn it. Um, I think I'm going to go up against the inside now. So basically I'm doing a wash over the whole thing. I could have just done a wash over the whole thing. That's what it ended up being because I, I put color on both sides of the line. I like it though. And then after that dries, I will shade it too. And that's going to look amazing. All right. Let's add a little highlight now with the white. So I'm definitely going to put some. Oh, wait. We got to do gold. A little bit more gold on the other side of all of the centers. Actually, um, I mean, this is up against the, it's okay. Just a little. Um, I 
Now I'm going to go in with some white and really pop the medium flower. Let's just do that one. I don't know if I'll do it on all of them. The white just looks so nice when it's up against the brown. It's just so bright. I might have to put some more out because it's a little dried up. And I'm just hitting the, the edge of the medium flower. The edge of the petal. I'm going to put more paint. So today is Thursday, one week from Thanksgiving. We are, we're probably going to cook, but not for Thanksgiving. We like to make, and this year we're going to try and make a soup, turkey soup. Like with broad egg noodles and, oh man, I remember having it when I was a kid. I think my dad used to do it. I don't remember. Um, it wasn't very often, but I think the memory I have is of he made it. And so there's only one, two, here, this one. Anywho, uh, so when we make ours, we're going to definitely throw the carcass in there and all the leftover stuff and make some turkey soup. So excited. Um, all right, so where are we? So that's the white. I think I'm going to use the light blue on this. So I'm not going to use white. I think I'm going to use the white on the little one too. Might as well. So, anywho, we're going to my brother in law's and it's his first Thanksgiving in his new house. Um, so, we're going over there, which is fun. It's just, you know, we like making all this stuff, too. I don't know if I'm going to bring something. Uh, usually, we bring what they need, like we ask them what they need. I don't have, like, a specialty. I used to make something called pumpkin roll. It was more for Christmas, but um, it's a dessert. It's like a... You know, it's so good. Anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, and that's that. And then Christmas is around the corner. And then we'll be in the dead of winter. <laughs> and so my craft room will become a very important place for me. Because I'm going to really, really try to keep walking. Because I've been doing pretty good. Um, but once the weather gets cold... You, you know, you lose your motivation to get out there. Okay, so I put white on all of the, the round flowers. Now I think I'm going to use the blue, the medium blue, for the edge of, let's see. We'll try it, and hopefully it'll be good. So this is actually the color that I based. Did I put white there? I don't know. So I'm going to try and put some up here. Yeah, it's lighter. I think that worked. There's just a couple of points that I need to... Uh-oh, I went right over the wood-burning line. Sometimes I go back and I'll, like, darken them in. Like, I'll use the brown and I can go over it. Because, um... I like the, the bold outline of, that the wood burning does. The look of that is really one of the things that appeals to me. So if I have enough water on my brush, the paint generally will float right over the lines and only hit the raised area, if you know what I'm saying. So it's just when my brush isn't loaded correctly that I do that. And that usually happens when I'm rushing or I'm tired. So... I've been at this a while. I've finished that other box first, so I'm going to, I'll probably take a break. Let's see. I think I'm happy. I think I'm happy. I'm happy. I think I'm happy with this. Um, the little leaves, I think, 
I want to do gold too, but maybe. So in other words, I have these little guys. One, two, three, four, five. Do I want to do green? I'll do green on the bottom. Hmm. Remember I said I was going to go down the middle, so let's do that. Trying to do it where it would be shaded. I'm really turning my brush up on its angle. Um, but I like that. I think that made it look a little more dimensional and then maybe I'll hit the edge with gold that is good and then I do think I am going to oh here's this is it and then I'm going to end but I'm going to shade the peace sign so I'm just going to use the burn umber corner loaded floating style and I'm going to shade on the peace sign where it goes behind everything So right here, just really basically anywhere there's a flower petal, just go right up against the flower petal. Um, oh my god, it just finishes it off so nice. I get happy. It really makes me happy. And the last place, I had way too much paint on my brush. That's what my mop is generally for to pick up paint that I put too much down. I could actually use the soft black for that, but doesn't that like, oh man, it's just, oh man, it makes it so great. All right. I kind of want to use a dark color really to um, set the flowers behind each other. Like this flower needs to be shaded right here with some color. This petal needs to be shaded here. So I think maybe the soft black is going to have to do that. Here we go. I'm doing it. I have my smaller brush. This is my 5 8, 3 8 inch. Just a little bit of paint. A little bit of that soft black. But I think it's going to be a nice combo with the blue. So in other words, this, anything that's under, Really make sure your brush is loaded right because this is stuff you don't want to have to use your Q-tip and start pulling, pulling at the piece because um, you can pick up what you did already. See that? I got a little black there. Too much there. All right. Because really we just want to go and put things behind. I like it though. I think the soft black is playing real nice with this blue. See, see, let's go on this one. Right here. Oh man, a little too much, a little too strong. And then here. I could actually do, no, I'm just going to stick to the blue for now. I was going to say I could do the leaves. I like that. It's just still giving it so much dimension. <sighs> okay, so just those little, little leaves. Um, I kind of want to just do them gold. 
I think I'm going to do them gold and I'm just going to use like a little round brush and I'm just going to paint them in. I'm not even going to float them. I could float them. Ugh. I'm just going to paint them in. Oops. I just, I don't like when I cover the burn line. That's all. So I have to be gentle. Definitely mix the paint with water so that it moves. And it's a little bit sheer as well. Oh man. Perfect. Because it's just an accent. It's not to be an actual leaf. Like, this isn't a realistic piece, you guys. All right. And then I could add dip dots here and there, but I think I love it. Piece looks kind of plain. But I'm pretty happy. So I'm going to just go around the rest of the piece. I might come back and show you what I have planned for this, this little strip. But I'm happy with that. And when I varnish it, it's going to look so popping. So see how the varnish just kind of, it gives it like an extra boost of ugh, cuteness. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching. All right, they're all done. I just cleaned everything up. I varnished, put my little clicker thing, whatever this is, this claspy, oops, clasp thing. I ended up painting the roof or whatever, the lid, gold inside, and I'm gonna put the felt in the bottom like I did on the other one. So that's the peace sign. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I did the dots around this. It got kind of dark, but I, I think it's okay. Um, I took my other one upstairs already, so I can't compare. And then this is the little guy. So shiny. I love it. I think they're so cute. This kind of is crooked and it's loose, but whatever. I just put stars on the sides and a sun on the back. And that's my little bird, and I painted the top um, gold, and I'm going to put felt inside again. Cute! Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching.